Hi, Keith May here, Snack a While, and uh, I have an N2G 5000 machine, and we're going to talk about uh, changing augers uh, so that you can have the right configuration for your uh, machine drinks. So I have my uh, N2G 5000 drink uh, case open, and you can see the um, retainers here, and we're going to use this this one just for easy of filming, ease of filming. I'm going to go ahead and take the retainer out. I have already removed the auger from this one. I'm going to take the spacer out that's in here. Again, no need to worry about that. It just uh, makes it easier to uh, to change out the auger. Now, uh, the most of the machines come with um, two of the lanes configured with augers that have inserts. So, just to be clear on uh, terminology here, this gray part is the auger. The blue plastic is the insert. This happens to be a large insert. I've never used a small insert, but I'm sure the, the principle is the same. So the plastic is the insert. The gray part is the auger. Most of the augers come just with without any plastic inserts. So the trick is here, first of all, you got to take the, um, the motor off. And so we'll do that by unscrewing the two neural knobs. And just to make sure, always unplug your machine before you do any kind of uh, work on the electronics. Undo the neural knobs. And you want to put them someplace where you won't knock them out of the way because they'll inevitably end up underneath the machine. Always remove the band, the connector from the band, mm. uh, from this part of the the motor. And it's okay if this motor jiggles, it's built like that. Um, set that aside. Now if if you can get the camera down in here, okay, there's a, um, a hole back there that's the pivot point for the auger and that's where the end of the auger, this end right here, is going to go. The other end, the spline, will stick out uh, and connect to the motor. So the longer end stays outwards. Okay, here is my method for doing this. You insert the auger from the front, and I like to make this at an angle because if you make it flat, you just can't get your fingers on either side, so your hand will help guide this into the back. So you can just sort of position the auger near where you think the hole is, and by the way, make your hand uh, guide the auger into evenly in the hole because if the auger catches on the edge of this uh, at the front where the mount is it won't go back into the hole so make sure it stays free now you can hear it or, or feel it kind of pop into that little pivot point sometimes you gotta fish around for it there now the way you know it's in and see how my my finger is kind of holding it and I'm not letting it touch the edges because otherwise like I said it, it won't go back all the way you can kind of rock it like a swing and if it rocks back and forth without falling around and everywhere then you've got it seated correctly the next step is to put the motor back on so here's the the spline that the spline is going to the spline gear that the spline is going to go in it's kind of you might have to turn the motor just a little bit to the right angle Better, easier to turn the motor than the than the auger. Make sure all your wiring harness is out of the way. Slide the motor on. Grab your neural nuts. Put those back on, and you only need to tighten those finger tight. And one very important tip that I've forgotten a few times, always remember to make sure you connect the wiring harness back to the motor. And then you can put your retainer back in to whatever um, distance you need. And that's done by putting the top of the retainer uh, holder in and then sliding it down into one of the pre-drilled slots and then up and over. And that is it. Happy vending.